<laughs> Every year, more than 20,000 teenagers age out <laughs> of the foster care system, and within just four years, about 5,000 of them are homeless. Now the federal government is stepping in to help. In an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning, Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Ben Carson spoke with our national correspondent Jerika Duncan about the innovative solution. Jerika? Good morning. What did you learn? Good morning. Well, we learned that it pays to advocate for yourself, and you'll know what I'm talking about in here in a things. second. In all things. Yeah. That's right, Gail. Secretary Carson told us he's made it his mission to move more Americans out of public housing, but after a group of former foster kids came to see him, Secretary Carson says he realized the best move for them starts with being able to have a place to call home. The one biggest thing that this has given me is a sense of control over my life. Control that was once a dream for Denver area teen Heidi Seabrook. Going from, you know, drugs to foster home to group homes to halfway houses and psych wards and jail. Now the 18 year old has the keys to a different future and this. Her first own apartment through a new federal housing initiative called Foster Youth to Independence. I feel like this is the first time in my life that I have the peace and the room to kind of forgive myself, to like grow a little bit. The FYI program puts rent within reach and teaches job prep and life skills to former foster children ages 18 to 24. There are so many people who... The solution took a brain surgeon, Ben Carson, people. who heads the federal agency overseeing public housing. In some ways, this places more people uh, in public housing. Some people think negatively about public housing, but public housing is actually supposed to be a safety net. The idea to expand that safety net came from former foster kids themselves. They actually took the initiative to come here, and we talked to them, we listened to their stories. Okay. And that inspired the creation of the program. Was that something that was on your radar before? You know, this really laser focused us on it. And, uh, you know, people say it takes the government a long time to do anything, but within four months, the program was created. And it's working. Participants typically pay 30% of their income towards rent. The FYI program covers the rest. So far, more than $2 million has gone to help out nearly 250 former foster children. When they don't have that kind of support, uh, they frequently fall into all kinds of things, you know, drugs, sex trade. Back in Colorado, Seabrook now sees a new future. Who would think that I would go to college? Not just like a drug addict, not just, you know, some kid in the system. I can really be like who I want. And have what every foster child really wants, a place they can call home. You know, everything that is in my life, I feel like I allow it to be in my life. And everything that's in my house, I allow it to be in my house. It's really given me a sense of peace that this is a really safe place for me. Now Heidi has set her sights on college. She wants to become a social worker to help at-risk teens like herself. And while the FYI program just started, Secretary Carson said it's already been big enough success that he's adding almost a half million dollars more to help more former foster kids like Heidi find homes. So obviously 250 right now with this original program, uh, but you've got 20,000. So this is this is helping, but it, it obviously is a bigger problem when you look at the big picture. Happy for Heidi because she's been through so much. Yep. Yeah, she yeah. has been. so much. It's good to see that story have a happy ending. Rent within reach. Yep. All right. I love the interview with Ben Carson where he says, and he went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was a delivery, the facial expression, but I'm like, okay. No, we thank him for, for we do. helping out and, and Absolutely. showcasing yes, yeah. that because we know he doesn't talk very often. It's an important program yeah. and a it's making interviews. a difference. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Carson. Thank you, Jerika.